I'm Jeffrey Sachs. I'm director of the Earth Institute at Columbia University, and I'm also director of the United Nations Millennium Project. In September 2000, the leaders of uh, the governments of the United Nations agreed to a set of ambitious but achievable uh, targets to cut extreme poverty. Most parts of the world are achieving economic progress, but for about a billion people, you find a, often a vicious circle of hunger, uh, ill health, massive disease burden, environmental degradation, population pressures, and poverty. And millions of people literally are dying of their poverty. They're too poor to get enough to eat, to have access to safe drinking water. They're dying, and what we see is that with very practical approaches of investing in in improved agriculture, of investing in improved infrastructure, of investing in basic health. Not only will the quality of life for the poorest of the poor be raised tremendously, not only will millions of people who otherwise will die be able to stay alive, but also they will begin the process of economic development. It will unlock the poverty trap and allow them to start moving forward. Take any place on the planet that was once extremely poor and is now either developed or on its way to be becoming a developed economy. You'll find uh, almost inevitably an agricultural revolution at the start of that. A big rise in productivity in the amount of food grown per hectare uh, of land. There's now promise uh, in the case of uh, many of the biotechnologies in agriculture of uh, fortifying nutrients in places where people are uh, facing massive nutrient deficiencies. Uh, of course, traits that protect against local pests and pathogens. Uh, now there's the possibility of drought-resistant varieties. This would be a phenomenal breakthrough, especially for Africa, which is uh, nearly a whole continent uh, afflicted with the massive risk and reality of drought. You have a, a lot of uh, African scientists uh, who are uh, right now saying this really fits our need. This technology is so powerful because it brings in one little seed everything that's needed. The seed's a great delivery. The great news is those technologies exist. Getting those technologies to the poorest farmers is absolutely one of the keys to making the breakthrough out of extreme poverty. I believe that it's important to find ways to get powerful tools to the poor, but to do it with a vision of investment rather than a vision of simply handout. If we give important technologies to grow more food in poor places, uh, better seed varieties, better ways to manage soil nutrients, better ways to manage uh, plant pathogens. It's going to create livelihoods, it's going to create income in the villages, it's going to convert what is now sub-subsistence agriculture into commercial farming. And that is going to make this sustainable fundamentally. In other words, we're in helping the poorest of the poor to invest in a sustainable future for themselves.